and welcome to Making the Strange, a podcast about how we made our fiction podcast. We will take you along with us in real time while we create our fiction podcast. I'm Jennifer, the writer and creator of The Strange Chronicles. And I'm Chris, the producer of The Strange Chronicles, a sci-fi noir detective podcast. In today's episode, we're going to talk about what it takes to make a starter kit and what we have used to make our fiction podcast. We'll talk about the gear, the mic, the art, and the software. We'll also discuss a technical mishap that happened along the way, something we hope to help you avoid. And in our How's the Writing Going segment, Jennifer will discuss how the writing is going. And finally, we'll provide a podcast tip something that you can use as a strategy for your own podcast. So first, I think we should just give a quick overview of the fiction podcast and how we came to make it. Yes. Uh, Well, in our day jobs, Chris is a producer in television and I'm a writer. In the last few years, my focus has been on a novel as well as some screenwriting projects. How we came to the fiction podcast is really due to my obsession with podcasts. You do love yourself a podcast. Yes. I have always been a big public radio listener, and I enjoy audiobooks. And so years ago, podcast became a logical extension to my audio entertainment experience. Why audio? Well, I love learning new things, and I find it to be both convenient and an intimate way of getting information. Convenient because you can listen while doing chores, walks, while driving. And I just find listening to a voice to be a really connected way to consume entertainment. When I was little, I remember making up my own radio shows for fun. I got this boom box for my birthday one year, and it had a cassette recorder, so my friends and I would be DJs, and we'd make up commercials and record songs from the radio, and then I remember doing a weather report. So it was so much fun for me that making a podcast is kind of like my little self living out that dream. And man, what would I give to have one of those tapes that I made back then? (laughs) <laughs> what I would give to have one of those tapes. <laughs> so seriously, though, what specifically drew you to create a fiction podcast? Well, first, I write fiction, so that was familiar. But um, I listened to a lot of nonfiction podcasts as well. I kind of wanted to make a hybrid with the format of some of the nonfiction together with a fiction story. For example, I love The Memory Palace and LeVar Burton Reads. And I was inspired by the shorter format with a lone voice telling a story. I figured it was more doable as well to make a project where I wasn't relying on a big cast or super long episodes. Where did the inspiration for The Strange Chronicles come from? Well, I was watching the new Perry Mason show on HBO Max, and I thought of how much I love detective stories. And usually I have a sci-fi or speculative bend to my writing. And there is the fact that The X-Files is one of my all-time favorite shows growing up. So I started thinking about a show with a private detective who investigates supernatural crime. And then, of course, I wanted the main woman. (laughs) I wanted the main woman. I wanted the main (laughs) character. (laughs) You wanted the main character to be a woman? Yes. You wanted the main woman to be a character? Yes. I mean, you want both things, right? I I did want both things. (laughs) So Detective Greg Cooper was born. I worked on some episode ideas, and then I wrote a few scripts, and the plan is to do a 10-episode season. And now, the making of podcast. What inspired you to do something like this? Well, actually, I was looking for a making of a fiction podcast podcast, and I didn't really find what I was looking for. Originally, the idea came from book coach extraordinaire Savannah Gilbo. Uh, She also has her own podcast called Fiction Writing Made Easy with Savannah Gilbo. So that's a great podcast about fiction writing. I was telling her about the Strange Chronicles podcast, and she asked if I might record how I made it. Um, And I was like, yes, if we record our experience, then maybe we can help other people. And maybe any issues that come up for us or strategies we use could help um, someone else make their own podcast. And also, I find it to be a really good motivator to complete this project. And then, of course, I had to convince you to help since you're producing. And I think your input could be really helpful to others wanting to make their own podcasts. Yeah, I definitely uh, am more comfortable behind the scenes. So this took much convincing to turn it into, quote unquote, 
talent. It really did. It, <laughs> it took a lot of convincing. No joke. <laughs> so basically, we got to... Th- we got to this place of making the strange. We are recording this making of the strange podcast at the same time we're creating the fiction podcast. So it's very much our real experience. At this point, we have just two episodes written and plan to have them all recorded and launched. I'm hoping by Halloween. It sounds doable to me. I like that plan. Yeah, I think so. Um, everything ends up taking a lot longer than I expect. So I think giving us a long chunk of time is good. Okay, so now it's time for our technical magic or mishap, and today is a mishap. So, Chris, tell us what our mishap is. Our mishap today is about audio settings. So, we record this show and fiction podcasts, everything in Adobe Audition. Right. We're recording right now in Audition, and I definitely had some struggles with recording. Just a few. Um... My experience is with, at least as far as like editing goes or assembling a a project is with nonlinear editing. So, you know, I've done Avid, I've done Adobe Premiere, I've I've done Final Cut Pro, all those. So the the concept of of putting together content and stringing it out and, and laying it out in a timeline was very familiar with me. And this software is very intuitive in the same way. You know, you can You do your recordings, you can create your different track settings, you can throw everything in and assemble it pretty neatly. Um, And 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 in that aspect, you can also import different files, you know, you can import your music, you can import your sound effects, all the things you need to do a complete episode. Um, But what was different for me, because in, you know, the film and television world, we're capturing all the media at a different time. So we're just importing files into the timeline, assembling there here you do it all in one place you record and edit and i think what happened is we have to make sure when when you're recording it you're thinking about those record settings that theoretically would have been done way beforehand so we're often starting and stopping and starting and stopping every time you do that here in audition what can happen is your settings can somehow revert to a default setting that you might not have realized was there So I think, you know, you would start to record something, stop, go do something else, come back to it later. And you might find that you recorded dead air because the microphone, it didn't pick up the microphone or it wasn't set to the microphone setting or the levels were somehow off, even though you didn't change anything on the microphone itself, something internally in the software adjusted how you were recording. Um, I think it's just really important for people to remember The first time you do this to go through and record a test run. And when you find a test run where everything sounds great to you after you play it back, take those settings, write them down and make sure you are replicating them for every episode you do thereafter so that it all sounds consistent. Cause that's going to be the biggest thing when people listen is if all of a sudden levels are jumping all over the place or the quality of your voice is is different or the quality of the recording is different they're going to detach and they're going to go away you're going to lose your listeners that way but if it's consistent all the way through then they're going to stay engaged and it helps them stay in that world of this fiction world that you're creating so to fix the mishap write down your audio settings so you have a reference for each episode yeah and always check them before you start recording every single time I know idea. it's easy to get into those habits like, oh, I just plug it in and I go and I go and I go. And, and then, you know, you think you're fine. And then you've spent, you know, 30 minutes or an hour recording or whatever. And then you get to the end and you're like, oh, my God. Wait, that didn't happen to us, did it? <laughs> I just lost everything that I did or I was never, re- it didn't record <laughs> anything or it was so, so quiet that I sound like I'm a million miles away. Right. And then you have to go and do it all over again. And, you know, you don't want to waste your time when you're getting into these things because they take so long. Next up, we are going to discuss how the writing is going. So Jen, how is the writing going? Well, honestly, it's always too slow for me because I have multiple projects I'm writing at once. Sometimes it's hard to get myself focused back on the podcast or the idea that I'm writing out a mystery that is solved in one short episode is a bit of a challenge. Um, I have a good plan in place for all the episodes, 
So um, we're planning to record episode two tomorrow or next weekend. So if I can write an episode or two per week, it will help my schedule. Um, so my verdict on the writing for right now is that it's slow going, but I have high hopes. Well, that's great. Next up, we're going to discuss the starter kit. Yes, this is the starter kit episode. Now, this is just a basic rundown of what we're using, but I hope it will be helpful to someone who may may have listened to thousands of podcasts, but never actually made one themselves like me. All right, so the first thing seems obvious, the microphone. Honestly, any microphone can work. Um, I've read about and talked to people who have said, you know, they've recorded their podcasts just using their iPhone and the headphones that come with it. The quality there is great. You can, you know, get pretty decent levels and it sounds natural and there's not a lot of hissing or echoey sounds coming from it. They're actually really decent for that. We shopped around for some and we ended up picking on the, I hope I'm saying this right, Apogee hype mic. That's how I would say it. Apogee? Yes. Apogee? Apogee? Oh, Apogee is kind of cute. Apogee? <laughs> what do you think? You think Apogee is cuter? I think Apogee is cuter, but I think it's probably Apogee. Apogee? Apogee? That anyway <laughs> yes we tested it and i think it's great uh there's definitely a learning curve like how loud to speak how far from the mic to speak and breathing it picks up everything um i will say the pop filter works really well i didn't hear any popping in the playback of the test and of course you'll need some sort of computing device a smartphone tablet or computer another important thing to think about is the art the image for your podcast this will be the thumbnail image that listeners will see on the podcast listening service. We looked at other fiction podcasts in the genre and gave us an idea of what is working for them. And we thought about the look and feel of what we wanted listeners to have about the Strange Chronicles. I created the image on Photoshop. Again, there are many apps you can use. It really comes down to what you're most comfortable with. Um, I happen to be more comfortable with Photoshop. I've used it for a long time. Uh, a couple others, that I know we've used or explored are uh, Canva. That's one you like. Um, Snapseed is out there. PixArt. Um, yeah, we kind of wanted um, an X-Files-like look to the font. And the image itself is blue-green with trees in the title. Yeah, I really wanted to go for that. Like, I don't know. I just feel like these kind of stories, these sci-fi mysteries, they just always take place in the woods. Like, the woods just feel eerie. It's true. I think a lot of our episodes take place in the woods. Yeah, too. like, it, it, I just feel like it, it, you know, it invokes a sense of, like, coolness to it. Like, you, they always, yeah. like, nobody, how many sci-fi mysteries take place in, like, the heat? Like, on the beach? Yeah, like, <laughs> nobody's getting abducted by aliens on the beach or, like, encountering the great... Sea crab? The kraken. The, <laughs> the kraken. The kraken's in the ocean, though. And again, that's kind of like... Sure. There's storms overhead. It's gray. It's dark. It's cloudy. There's never, like, the sunny crypto... I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to do the You might episode. have to come up with an episode. We're going to have to have beach party... Yeah. <laughs> beach party... <laughs> scary crab? <laughs> I don't know. Attack of the killer hermit crabs. <laughs> Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> or like a blob. Like, you know how there's like beach slime or... You know the the most vicious creature seaweed. on the beach? You know what that is? What? Those little sand flies, those green ones that bite. Oh, like a horse fly? Is I don't know what, what they called? are. I just used to call them sand flies and they were massive and they would hurt. Yeah, I think those are horse flies. They would bite really hard. Okay. <laughs> Okay, there's coming your, soon, <laughs> The Strange Chronicles, Attack of the Beach Hermit Crab. Okay. Anyway. Back to the... And it will be a very sunny day. Okay. What are we going to talk about next? <laughs> oh, gosh. Where were we? Okay. So the other thing you need for a podcast is a hosting service. This is uh, where you're going to end up placing your files that you record and where the various podcast services that you broadcast through will link back to. We're planning on using Buzzsprout. Uh, we haven't done it yet. This is our first recording here. So there will be, will there be a making of about posting to your well, I hosting think, service? I think Are we, we going to go we, through that process with people? We could probably discuss it if we have any issues, but. Uh, another, or, if, or if someone has a question. Another mishap episode. It could be another mishap. 
It could be in the future. Is this just gonna? Is this whole podcast just gonna be like all a, of our mishaps? A bloopers, probably. A bloopers reel. Yes. All right. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, also, well, we've already talked about this that we're recording both podcasts in audition. And then we'll do the music and sound design in another episode. This is just our basic setup. All right. It's now time for our podcast tip. Something that we learned to help make your journey easier. And the podcast tip for today is deconstructing other podcasts. I found that this is a great idea for getting started in many creative projects. If you want to make something, check out other versions out there. Take what appeals to you and leave what doesn't. Um, I've listened to many podcasts with different formats, and then I took a lot of notes and put together a format for The Strange Chronicles. And honestly, I'm not even sure it's exactly like another one. It's such like it's a Frankenstein um, of pieces. And I chose things I like from nonfiction and fiction. So I guess we'll see how that works. But, um, you know, like for this podcast, doing different segments, I really like that in um, nonfiction podcast so that each week you can expect like from this podcast we'll have a podcast tip we'll have a technical magic or mishap and um, we'll talk about the writing and each episode will have a theme as well well that is it for this episode of making the strange we want to thank you for tuning in to our journey in creating a fiction podcast and hope that it can inspire you to create your own story because we believe that everyone has a story to tell Please email us with any podcast tips you may have or questions you hope we'll answer at info at thestrangechronicles.com. Thanks for listening. You can follow us on Instagram at Making the Strange and at The Strange Chronicles Podcast. Be on the lookout for The Strange Chronicles, a sci-fi detective fiction podcast. Until our next episode, I'm Jennifer. And I'm Chris. Keep it strange. This has been a Kings of Content production.